Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the n-gram tokenization capability of Elasticsearch. So I assume that, you know, uh, you would have some understanding about Elasticsearch and uh, all the capabilities that Elasticsearch offers. And uh, in this video, I will only focus about the n-gram tokenization part. So for example, uh, you know, uh, you want to relax your search such that it does uh, perform partial match for you and brings out the result. Uh, in other words, you want to improve the recall of your search capability. One way of doing that is that you know you define the n-gram tokenization at indexing uh, process. Like for example, in this process, although you know this is only analyzing, it's not you know putting or creating in any index uh, or something like that. So if you decide, uh, you know, you want to just analyze with tokenizer ngram and text is quick fox, by default, uh, what it would, would it would do is that, you know, it would break uh, this text into smaller uh, words, if you like. I mean, I, I won't call them words, but ngrams. And the minimum length is one and maximum length is two. So if you execute something like that on Elasticsearch, you would see that, you know, it would break uh, this text into all these terms and then those these uh, terms will get uh, indexed to a particular document you know if supposedly you want to create a document and that has a text as a property and um, you know the value is quick fox so the benefit as i mentioned you know for example in this case uh, if you create a document like this and uh, at search time you want to search uh, say only for q and u you would still get a document so it allows you to uh, improve the recall of search. So, but at the same time, you should be worried about the precision and you should carefully define the uh, min grams and maximum grams for your uh, particular property. So let's go to the uh, demonstration. Let me first uh, delete the index that I have here. So index is deleted. Uh, my index name is w3w there isn't anything here now what I'm doing is that you know I'm setting up an index and what I'm saying is that uh, I would uh, analyze it with ngram tokenizer uh, the min gram is 3 max gram is 3 and then I uh, define the uh, indexer uh, analyzer which is ngram tokenizer analyzer type custom tokenizer is ngram tokenizer and then I do a mapping I'm going to create a property called three words in this document uh, in this index and what I'm saying is that you know the type would be text uh, I want to see the term vector I want to analyze uh, at index time with uh, this particular analyzer which is exactly what we defined here so let me create a index now so my index is created now let's just create uh, a document and three words would be say abandonment in that so the document is created let me just search for it so there is the document now let's see what uh, um, the ngram tokenizer has done for it so if you go here you would see that uh, this is what has happened these are all the terms that are uh, uh, that got defined because uh, you know we had the ngram tokenizer there aba and bn don ent and all these things so at uh, search time if you you know query for any of these terms you will still get abandonment as the result and we could see that for example three words say ABA so here it is you get to see the abandonment so that's the beauty of you know uh, the ngram tokenizers uh, at the same time uh, you know as I mentioned earlier you should be worried about uh, precision uh, for example if you, even if you have like you know query term as men you would get abandonment you know as a result and you can clearly see that you know 
uh, at run time you were trying to search for man whereas uh, the uh, result is abandonment so you will have to clearly uh, pick your uh, engram accordingly so that it does not uh, degrade your overall performance but if your application is 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 purely which could benefit from a better recall uh, there is no harm in implementing ngram tokenizer and you can tune the min gram and max gram accordingly uh, that suits uh, you know your respective use case uh, 